Hey Leos, welcome to Tarot on Hill. Welcome to your full moon mid-month reading. Okay, for December. Oh, Five of Cups just came out. All right, so feel free to actually follow me on IG. That's Tarot and Heal, Tarot and Heal. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. So the full moon energy is currently in Gemini, which is pretty interesting. So what I'm going to do is ask a few questions. See what your, where your energy has been from the new moon up until now. All right, and see how we can harness this full moon and Gemini energy for the rest of the month. Which is the rest of the year, actually. Happy early New Year, Leos. All right, cool. Let's get started. I come to you humbly. Thank you for your divine guidance. Providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Leo Collective needs to know? What is it that the Leo Collective needs to know for this full moon and Gemini energy? What is it that they need to know? Thank you. First question, what has the Leo Collective manifested since the new moon? What has the Leo Collective manifested in the first half of December? We're starting off with the Hermit. Some of you guys might be in deep reflection for the first half of November, uh, December. Sorry, Maybe it has to do with something that happened in November and it's causing you to go into Hermit mode. Where is the Leo Collective now? Where is the Leo Collective right now? energetically where's the leo collective right now and energetically so that five of pentacles was it the five of pentacles or five of cups one of the two actually came out which either way it's either one it was about um loss and letting go of a loss so yeah we have the four of arrows some of you guys are still in this hermit energy meditation mode something has pushed you into quiet mode where you're really trying to figure things out or let things go what's coming to the conscious awareness of the leo collective what's coming to the conscious awareness of the leo collective okay we do have the eight of arrows here which is eight of wands along with the devil card yeah some of you guys might have realized that there was some toxic energy that's stopping you from moving forward and that pushed you into hermit mode and now you're trying to figure out how to let it go what i was saying before about the five of pentacles or the five of cups somebody has might have um, experienced some type of loss or feeling left out on the cold, some type of conflict pushed you into this energy. Whatever this conflict is, it is being dropped. Whatever this toxic energy is, it is being dropped here. This could be a negative mindset within you or around you. So do keep that in mind. <clears throat> What's no longer serving the Leo Collective? Okay, we do have the Emperor here, Aries Energy, with the Four of Branches. We have two fours on a board now. I feel like you guys are trying to figure out how to set a new and happier, solid, stable foundation here. Okay, we have the Four of Wands, which is a card about foundations, which is a card about happiness, celebrations. And this could be family life. This could be just a happy home card, you know. But we do have the Emperor card. Some of you guys might have been trying to control something. Or this can be an Emperor in your life. This can indicate someone who's older. This could in indicate um, a patriarch in the family. Um, but this can also embody the energy in your life. Um, a relationship. Someone who's kind of... Um, Someone who's more, um, uh, I don't want to say controlling, someone who's just more, uh, whatever the word is, I, they're strong, a strong character in your life. This might be an energy that you need to embody, taking the lead in your life to create a foundation. And maybe that's why some of you guys are being put into hermit mode to try and figure out how to take the lead. Okay? How do they release what's no longer serving them? How do they release... How does the Leo Collective release what's no longer serving them? Okay. We do have the Maiden of Vessels, which is a Knight of Cups here. That's interesting. That's usually indicative of, you know, it could be a love offer coming in, but it can also mean, because this does have a solo energy right now, this could just be you thinking about how to pursue your dreams. How to pursue something that makes your heart sing here. This is a dreamer card, all right? That might be um, 
as you're trying to release whatever negative energy is in your life, you might it might serve you to focus on your dreams to distract you from whatever whatever other toxic distractions you have going on. What additional resources are available for the Leo Collective as they release? What additional resources are available for the Leo Collective? What additional resources are available? What additional re Okay. <laughs> All right. We have the Six of Arrows here which is six of swords, along with the two of pentacles. Somebody's juggling. Somebody's juggling and refusing to move on from a situation. We do have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck here. So some of you guys might be coming into a new opportunity of love or you're coming out of an opportunity of love that just didn't happen, okay? If it didn't happen, it's probably because of this toxic energy and that's what's forcing you to actually figure out what went wrong. You might be double dutching, you know, pay, um, bouncing back and forth and you're not ready to quite let this go yet. Some of you guys, it has the energy of like, you know, you might have found something that's promising and then you're like, okay, it didn't work out. It ended before it began and now you're just like in quiet, um, quiet, silent study mode and you're just like, what happened there? What went wrong? You know, but it's it's kind of hard for you to kind of let go of it. Let's see what's going on with the Six of Arrows. Because the Six of Arrows is like moving out of a chaotic situation into calmer waters. But it seems as if you're kind of still stuck in that. Some of you guys might not be ready to let it go. You might not realize if it's toxic. You might not realize how toxic it is for you right now. So with the six of arrows, we do have the polar bear and the risk. You Okay, so some of you guys feel like, I feel like even if it's a toxic situation, you're not feeling like it's that toxic right so you're kind of like going back and forth you feel like this can go either way it is a gamble you do seem like you see like something is a little bit off here this may or may not work but you're not completely sure if it's not going to work so you're trying to power through and that's why you didn't make a complete decision to move on from this but you are in study mode and trying to figure it out okay here we go all right so back to you know you knowing that something is kind of not right we do have the snake card here this is a card of you know being deceptive so you know that this person is a little bit deceptive you know that there's some toxic energy here um but for some reason you need it i think you're waiting for clarity on a situation you want to know for sure before you yeah okay you want to know for sure before you move on you're trying to figure out if this is a thing that's going to give you the soulmate energy and this might very well be a soulmate um this did come out with the four of arrows somebody's contemplating on the soulmate energy and that's why it's hard to let go of you know it's a soulmate you know there's a connection there so you're trying to hold on to it like okay how can i make this right how can we work this out let's look at this double card okay yeah some of you guys are gaining wisdom let's see what else is going on with the double card here Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, <laughs> so we do have the double card. Um, it was uh clarified with the owls here, which is a card of wisdom. Um, this can be intuition, okay? Intuitively you know something isn't right here. Intuitively you do know that this can be stable, right? But you know that something sneaky is going on here, and that's why it's a risk. That's why you're like, it can go either way. Like, this can be the real deal if this person isn't such a sneak, you know? So you're questioning whether this, whether this person is actually sneaky or not, okay? But we do have the fox and the um, snake here now. So that's just confirming your intuition is on point if, you, if you're getting this gut instinct that this person, the soulmate, might not be completely... Um, in the right energy and the best energy for the soulmate uh, connection okay so that I feel like that's why this isn't 
this is no longer serving you with this four of wands someone's still holding on to the idea of this happy home and because of that it's causing you to stay in this chaotic situation in this deceitful situation you're trying to control it you're trying to make it happen you're being headstrong on yeah i can have this here i i see it you know and that's what's no longer serving you holding on to that concept that idea it was a seed of love for some of you guys it is a female energy um this could be you that's holding on uh, embodying this emperor energy you know the it, it could be a female who is looking at the deceptive male um and trying to hold on and try to figure it out or vice versa you you choose where it resonates for you okay yeah some of you guys are trying to put an end to this trying to put an end to this so they so you couldn't get this for yourself elsewhere okay i feel like some of you guys are trying to get this elsewhere but i feel like the majority of you are really just not moving on as of yet you i feel like you guys are trying to trying to see how this can fit now with this person because you want this person and you know that you can get it from this person it's like a very headstrong energy all right let's look at the advice here Make your dreams real and watch your words. Actually, I wanted to look at this um, Knight of Cups and see what's going on here. Ah, okay. So with this Knight of Cups, someone's holding on to the idea of an offer coming through for commitment. And that's a burden within itself. Okay? So you guys are trying to hold on to this idea. You're waiting for... Somebody is waiting. Someone might be waiting for this commitment to come through, and that is what's holding them back. That's what's um, providing this sense of a heavy heart, a burden, you know, because that's why they can't move on. Somebody might have came through with this offer already, but you're not seeing the, you're not seeing the actions behind it. That's for some of you guys. Some of you guys are just waiting, you know, waiting for this offer to come through. Like, don't you want to commit to me? You know? Okay. So now we're here. Make your dreams real and watch your words. Sing your own song. See, this has a all, all of this energy is about manifesting what works for you. Okay? This is all about manifesting what works for you here. Now, this is a card about manifestations. All right? Make your dreams real. Some of you guys need to just focus on yourself. To be honest, watch your words. It's like, okay, if you know this person is just being um, deceptive, some of you guys need to just drop it. And that comes back to the energy of the five, the five in reverse earlier that, that came out in the pre-shuffle. There's a need to just drop this conflict where it's at. You know, instead of just trying to talk it out or instead of trying to just continuously study and work on it and if you're the only one working on a situation, it's just affecting you and dragging you down. You know, so some of you guys need to focus on that. Sing your own song. All right. Some of you guys, I think it's just time to focus on you because this person just isn't ready yet. And that's a fact that some of you have to face here. It's time to move on to calmer waters. Your intuition is telling you that they're a fox and they are a fox. They are a snake right now. It doesn't mean that's the energy that they'll continue to embody, but that's the energy that they're embodying right now. And there's nothing you can do to try and change that. So you might as well take ownership of your own life here with this emperor and move on to your own stability, your own happiness. Okay? You have the power to manifest right now. And I feel like right now the energy is for you to manifest for yourself. All right, Leos, I hope this resonated with you. Um, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. Also, add me on IG, Tarot and Heal. Until we meet again, peace. Happy New Year. Bye.